I'm in our Japanese style shower in the dark with my camera. Have I gotten too weird? In today's video, I want to talk about the Godzilla of inks. And when I say Godzilla, I mean Tono and Limbs. They started out maybe about a year and a half ago and since then have pretty much well taken over Japan. The first time I had seen Tono and Limbs ink was at Okamotoya, which I did a video about last week. I had asked Bruno Tot of Chronicus Estilograficus about these inks that I had seen at Okamotoya. He told me they were made by Tono and Limbs, and this was in September of 2019. And within three months, Jacob of Fudafan called them one of the most visible ink brands, second only to Sailor, in his Japan Pen Trends 2019 blog post. The earliest I could find anything about them online was their 2018 December A Spacewalk ink sale. They have these spacewalks several times a year on Instagram. According to Jacob, this is when they sell their collaboration inks with other fountain pen stores. You have to then go to each stationary store Instagram in order to buy those inks. I found this to be too bothersome and haven't done it yet. I don't have a Twitter, but their Twitter account is pretty informative. They usually post their new inks along with a corresponding RGB number and Pantone number along with the pH of the ink. There are also a complicated bunch of inks. This is not accurate numbers, it's just what I could find but I found 11 different lines of ink and then 14 different collaborations either with people or stationery stores. So I'm going to just introduce you to some of the inks. It's not going to be like a complete ink review for any of the inks, just some general impressions and to let you know what's out there. Hopefully, even if you are familiar with Tono and Limbs, I can show you maybe one or two bottles that you haven't tried out yet. One of their lines is called the Standard Colors. There's 12 bottles in it and I don't have any. Another line is called their Prefecture Series. There are 47 prefectures in Japan and they're kind of like states. They have 20 colors in this line. The ink you see dripping down here is from their Kyoto Shade of Sakura ink. This ink comes in their standard Tono and Limbs box, which kind of looks like a drawing of a laboratory. Their plastic cap has this insignia along with the laboratory equipment. All the Tono and Limbs inks come in 30 milliliters in a square glass heavy bottom bottle. From the splotch tests, this looks like a straightforward purple. But on Tomoa River, some of the more heavily covered ink areas didn't really dry even after a day. The chromatography was a real surprise as it striated out to about four different colors. I'll talk about this ink a little bit more later. The third line of inks they have is the Adult Night line, which sounds kind of strange. And they are six colors and they're kind of dark, muddy colors. I don't have any of those. And next up is their Earth Contact line, which is a series of very glittery inks. Right now I can count six, but I think a seventh one has come out. Here I have hematite, opal, and bermatermaline. And all of these have that distinctive cap. Hematite is kind of a brownish, grayish, dull purple with a dull purple shimmer in the bottle. Here with the outside light, it looks pretty blue. But when it dries out, it comes out to be a kind of gray with a coppery purple shimmer. 
with heavy applications like on this splotch test the shimmer comes off a little bit but in writing it's really beautiful it's dark enough to be easily seen has kind of a complex color with just a hint of shimmer that doesn't come off on normal writing those smears are just ink I didn't let it dry all the way the chromatography was fabulous I really like the chromatography in all these inks on the bottom you can see there where the shimmer is here in the close-up from the bottom you can see it's kind of a light gray color the copper shimmer light purple purple dark purple a kind of teal and then a dark green then they have what's called the baby color line which is 10 different colors that are all pastel next is their fixation line which is five different colors of pigment ink that are waterproof well you've heard of weed killer this is the feed killer it's a shimmering pigment ink it's a red pigment ink with a kind of coral golden shimmer on the bottom of the bottle this is what it looks like after writing with a platinum preppy and I really couldn't see too much of the shimmer in there possibly because it was too fine but nothing smeared off of it it's a nice wet pigment ink and I kept it in the preppy for about a week and it still worked fine after the splotch test dried you could see that the shimmer kind of concentrated in little pools again it comes off here but not in the handwriting this is after I completely submerged the paper in water neither the glitter nor the ink ran at all the Tomoe River just kind of wrinkled the chromatography was basically the shimmer and then the red it had a nice interesting spread though at the top the name of this ink is Koi Nagao or Nozomi depending on how you read the kanji Tono and Limbs also has a starlight line which is three fluorescent inks that glow with black light it wasn't the one at the beginning I'll talk about that later then they have something called the crossover line there's three colors in it and I'm not sure what it's crossing over for but I got this one the flight of the bumblebee mainly because it was listed as flight of the bumblebee and I thought that was funny I think the names of these three inks are related to classical music it is a yellow honey soda pop scented ink with this black sludge on the bottom when you throw down the ink it's kind of this muddy olive color but after it dries it kind of separates out into kind of like tiger looking stuff here it is written and it's yellow and you can distinctly see the black sludge or whatever it is that's supposed to be glitter it kind of looks like charcoal both the writing and the chromatography is very striking it looks a lot like this bumblebee jasper I've never seen a chromatography like this before you may want to use this in a little bit finer nib and then maybe spray some fixative over the top since the glitter is so dark they have something called the friendship line with 14 different colors and that's the line that has weird names like who are you and greedy and next up is the producer line with three colors and a bottle of toner toner is supposed to brighten and sometimes add transparency according to tono and limbs so back to my kyoto shade of sakura ink i put some in a tamiya sample bottle and added some toner in there i tried just a few drops but it didn't seem to make that much of a difference so then i put in three dropper full so that's a lot I had six dropperfuls of the ink in there and then three dropperfuls of the toner and it finally started to get a little bit lighter at the very top of the page is the unadulterated ink the ink got increasingly drier mainly because I think the surface tension was somehow increased after adding more toner it finally got to the point where I couldn't write with it 
This is an extreme test and no one's going to put that much toner in an ink. Currently, Bruno, Todd, Jacob, and I are in these convoluted discussions about surface tension, viscosity, and whether or not an ink is dry or wet. Jacob keeps throwing in posts about it, and Bruno keeps throwing in graphs about it, and I keep hollering about ink lubrication. We hope to have a blog post and video about this one day. This is Flight of the Bumblebee ink. They have four inks in their one year anniversary line. Universe, which is a clear fluorescent ink with silver shimmer that you can add to other inks. Sun, which is a fluorescent orange ink. Earth, which is just a plain green. And this ink, Moon. When I got this, I was incredibly disappointed. I had received this light pink ink with fluff floating around in it. Midai Cat had to explain to me that it was a fluorescent ink and then it became a whole lot of fun. That was the ink you saw at the beginning of the video. Like a kid, I played with it with the black light and in the dark, in the day, in the bathroom, everywhere. It's a lot of fun. For grins, I did a chromatography test on it and it was basically like water except for it kind of like went down the strip instead of up. And here I'm writing with it um, inside of a Platinum Profonte. This is a dark navy blue Profonte and you can still see the cool ink on the inside. This would be a fun ink to write secret messages to your kid. Tono and Limbs does a huge amount of collaboration with different stationery stores, companies, and individuals. They include Fukuoka Idea Switch, Nagoya Tokyo Hands, Okamoto Ya, Bugukan Kobayashi, and N Paper, among many others. This light pink ink with glitter is a collaboration with the pen doctor, Ms. Shishikura. She holds pen clinics throughout Japan and is famous for selling the very glittery pens. They also have a Doctor's Collection Summer Series and I talked about that in my Ink Swamp video which I'll link up in the corner. This is a lighter colored ink but it works out really well in the flex nib and lays down just enough shimmer so that it looks good but doesn't rub off. The chromatography has just a very light line of shimmer on the bottom and then various shades of pink and then gray. This ink is called Toa Sakura or Eternal Sakura. The next two inks are made for glass pens. So I stuck them in my Pilot Parallels. It's been about two weeks and they seem to be doing okay. This ink is a collaboration with Hase Glass Studio, which is the company that made my glass pen. It's called Purple Sky Winter, and it's a purple color with a little bit of purple shimmer. This is a dark, very wet ink that dries to a darkish blue purple with some blue shimmer. There were spots that took several days to dry, and you can see kind of the blue shimmer here. The writing on the left is with the Pilot Parallel 1.5, and the writing on the right is with a glass pen. The chromatography was pretty much well a straight purple with a little bit of the shimmer showing on the bottom. And this last ink is the most, how shall I put it, pink ink. It's also made only for a glass pen, but like I said in the other ink, um, it lasted two weeks in my Pilot Parallel. It's this pink ink with this kind of light green shimmer. This ink is a collaboration with Kobo, and it's a fluorescent and glitter ink. They call it magic ink. The name of it is Sakuya Hime, which means Princess Sakuya. Even the box is pretty cool, like this side has like a lavatory. And this side of the box says, All journeys have secret destinations of which the traveler is unaware. 
It has these like flying around wand-like glass pens on it. It's a light pink ink, but it shows up really well with a glass pen. On the splotch test, it kind of pooled up and that's where the green shimmer was. It basically only shimmered where the ink pooled up on the 6.0. This was written with a glass pen and the shimmer showed up a lot better on it. Here's the ink under black light and the splotch test, the Pilot 6.0 parallel pen, and me writing with my glass pen and the ink. It looks pretty cool. And this is the chromatography, basically the glitter line on the bottom and then kind of the fluorescent pink on top. I'll close out this video back in my darkened bathroom, dripping this Sakuyahime ink. You can purchase Tono and Limbs inks on shigudainks.com and justspirit.com. I'll leave the links in the description box, though right now Just Spirit doesn't seem to be working. They also have a small storefront on Amazon Japan. Leave me any questions you might have about this brand in the comments below, and I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. I post every Friday night, Tokyo time.